Everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle, where I'm an amputee and I am out combating PTSD and depression due to the loss of my leg due to my traumatic event that took my leg. I am here in California. We are doing some diving on some oil rigs. We have Oil Rig Ellie and Oil Rig Ellen, and we're going to be going down the water. We're going to be swimming down along those pilings on this structure looking at all the life looking at all the macro life it's gonna be amazing we got some sea lions out there we got brittle stars muscle all kinds of macro opportunity all kinds of fish swimming around great visibility some current going through let's get in the water remember if I can do it you can do it too I want to inspire you to get out and live your life chase your dreams hobbies and ventures let's get wet Today we're going to be doing three dives on three separate oil rigs. This very first dive, we're going to be diving on Oil Rig Ellen, which is going to be the one on the right. After a 30 to 45 minute boat ride, we arrive at our destination and we splash and go down on the big structure. Looks like we have a little California sea lion up there. There's Jessica and Ryan. They were out on the Belize Aggressor 4 with us on the liveaboard doing some diving down in Belize. Glad they made it on this trip. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Look at this visibility. We have such good visibility. You can actually see almost all of the pilings going down on these oil rigs. Look at all of this life. When you take the first look at these pilings, they are just absolutely covered with mussels and brittle stars. Everything is literally fighting for real estate space on these pilings. As we go a little deeper, we can start to see more and more fish, but I'm literally searching these pilings and everything is covered. Every little bit of space has some sort of life attached to it and living on these pilings. This is a great example of an artificial reef. One would think that this is a little bit of a sort of seaweed growth or plant growing, but these are actually brittle stars. Parts of the brittle stars are actually hanging loose, waving back and forth in the current. Let's take a little closer look at these brittle stars. Going a little bit deeper on the structure, I actually found an area that actually had anemones instead of mussels and brittle stars. Let's take a closer look. If I had a guess, I would say that these are possibly strawberry anemones. I could be wrong, but that's my best guess. Oh wow, check this out. This snake looking like creature is actually a colony of jellyfish. They will soon break apart and go off on their own to live and then reproduce more jellyfish. Here's a group of blacksmith fish. Oh, 
There's so much life here on this piling. Muscles, brittle stars, little anemones. Let's take a closer look to see what we can see. Here's a little anemone that is standing out. This appears to be a little pink tipped anemone. This appears to be a solitary green anemone. And these are the spiny brittle stars, very colorful, a lot more colorful than the ones that we have in the Puget Sound. We actually have fossil records that date over 190 million years ago of brittle stars. Pretty cool, these things have been around for a long time. And here we have the mussels. You can barely see them because they're being engulfed by all the brittle stars. They are opening up so they can filter feed and eat the stuff in the water. They are edible, but I wouldn't recommend it. They do have a lot of toxins, the most out of all the other mollusks. Swimming down this portion, I did see some female sheep's head, painted greenlings, did come across uh, a couple of little tiny sea urchins. There's a little cabazon swimming up. Looks like some sea lions are coming down checking us out. There's California state fish, the Garibaldi, or uh, goldfish crackers, I like to call them. These two fish right here are called blacksmith fish. On this side of the platform, the fish are very curious and friendly. They're swimming right up to our cameras checking us out. This fish is literally swimming circles around me. Hey, I just want to take a second to say this. Thank you, everybody. Now, if you like what we're producing on Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle, you can also leave a tip. You go down to the thanks and you can click on that and there's some denominations that you could leave a tip. You could also join the channel as a member. For a small price, you get early access to all my edited content so you don't have to wait every Thursday. Thank you. Check this one out. This one is literally swimming right up to my camera, inspecting it, checking it out. Maybe it thinks there's food or something. These fish are definitely curious and friendly. That is actually kind of a, a nice encounter. Great for anybody who wants to take photographs or video. Oh, here's a senorita fish that's swimming by. That orange fish is the Garibaldi or goldfish cracker. And this is a male sheephead that is swimming by. And here's a curious California sea lion. Pretty cool. Swimming right up to us, checking us out. I just want to take a second to thank Ryan and Jessica for flying all the way out to join us on this adventure down in California doing some diving. They were on the Belize Aggressor 4 with us when we were in Belize. Jessica sells some artwork that she has some really cool paintings of marine life and landscape, all kinds of really cool paintings. Check it out. You might actually find something you might want to get. Her, her link is in the description below. So that's going to wrap up another dive on Cooper's MT Lifestyle. We just got done diving the oil rig Ellen just a little bit west of San Pedro, California. What an amazing dive. Lots of life. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell notification. If you want it, you can leave a tip or you can join and be a member. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next adventure.